Hi YouTube, it's been quite a bit. Uh, looking back, I think the tools and materials needed for oil paintings and a basic oil painting videos were uploaded about four years ago. So where have I been and why am I back? I want to answer those questions first and then you can watch the tutorial on a cardinal painting. Um, if you're not interested in this, then just go ahead and fast forward to when the, the tutorial starts. Um, so the past four years, I have been finishing up my college degree, getting a career that I love, and I've been very busy with that, and I've finally found some time to get back into video editing and uploading videos definitely more frequently than four years apart. I am going to be better about uploading videos every few weeks. Um, so the second thing I want to tell you is I'm going to share a, a variety of tutorials, not just uh, necessarily paintings. Um, that's not all that I dabble in. Um, I also like um, cosplay slash costuming kind of things, makeup tutorials. So you'll see a variety of those kind of things as well as maybe cooking occasionally. So keep a lookout for these kind of videos. It'll mostly be painting tutorials, but um, those things will be out there as well. Um, so I have one disclaimer to share with you before you watch. Um, I want to remind you that I'm not necessarily an expert on oil painting or any of the other tutorials you see on my channel. I kind of just decide I want to try something new and I do it. And I may not necessarily do it the best way um, out there or the way an expert would do it. Um, but my point in telling you that is it doesn't make me any less of um, an artist because I've never had any formal training. I've never gone to school for this. It's simply a hobby, but that's okay. Um, I've sold a number of paintings. I have my paintings up in a gallery, um, and I learned a lot of techniques from my dad, who was a, a great watercolor artist. So my point in telling you that is, don't be afraid to try something new. Um, that's kind of what makes life fun, is trying new things, even when you have no idea necessarily what you're doing. You learn along the way, um, and that is the best way to learn, to make mistakes, which I can tell you I've done many. Um, I've had so many paintings I could show you that are just half finished that I never threw away that I'm planning to reuse the canvas or paintings that I completely ruined and painted over. Um, this has happened many, many times. So, um, But my point in telling you this is hopefully my tutorial I can share with you the things that I have learned and you can ask me questions and hopefully not make the same mistakes that I did uh, years ago. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoy this, and don't be afraid to try something new. Um, this particular tutorial is going to be a cardinal uh, on a tree branch in front of a gold and green gradient. So be on the lookout for other videos, um, and also check out my Etsy site. You can buy a print of this painting on my Etsy site. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we got the canvas here. Um, I'm coating it with Mod Podge and uh, gold leaf flakes. Now, I realized afterwards that it would have probably been easier to cover the whole canvas with actual square gold leaf pieces, which you can buy in the same place, you know, at a, a um, hobby store. Um, so it took me a while to lay all this out, and as you will see, there will be some gaps. Um, it won't be completely solid gold color, um, but I will coat this in the gold leaf and then I come back over with the Mod Podge on top of that to give it kind of like a sealant in a way. Um, it doesn't, Mod Podge does not necessarily give a very clear, um, well, I shouldn't say that, it's, it's more of a foggy type of texture um, finished coat. Now you can see I added some gold paint there um, afterwards in the little cracks where there were spaces and things like that. Um, I waited about five or six hours before doing this next step, as you can see. Um, and to get this green paint, I mixed blue, red, and yellow. Um, very small bit of red, but mostly um, the blue and yellow. I only really work with my three primary colors, get very high quality paints, oil paints of those three colors, and you can virtually make any other color that you would want um, just by having those three primary colors. Um, and then I, as you can see, I will lighten it up a little bit with some white in just a minute um, to kind of make it fade into the gold side of this painting. Now remember always to mix a little bit of linseed oil 
with your paint as well. Um, and I actually um, added an agent that dries up the process. I'll show you what that is at the end. Um, but here now I'm working on the cardinal and zoomed in view of this. Um, now, as you can see, I'm using a very cheap O paintbrush. Um, I definitely need to upgrade some of my paintbrushes, but um, this is not necessarily the proper paintbrush you use for oil paints. Um, and that's one thing about my uh, art and anything I really dabble in. I kind of just do the way I want to do it. I don't necessarily follow the rules. Um, whatever works for me is what I do. So once again, you can see here, this is not actually black. Um, it's a very, very dark brown. Um, most of the time you want to avoid using solid black and solid white um, in your paintings because it can give it, it doesn't give it as much depth, put it that way. Um, so now we're doing the beak. And um, when I painted this cardinal, it was basically freehanded. There was no way for me to um, outline and pencil the cardinal. So you can see here I have a mistake and I'm having to go back and it takes a little while to wipe that up, but that's a good thing about oil paint is it takes a very long time to dry so you can fix mistakes more easily than say watercolor and acrylic. And now I'm adding the shading to the cardinal. Once again, I'm not using black. It's actually a, um, a, a darker brown color. And I can't be a perfectionist at times, so I will many times do something and go back and redo it again because I don't like the way it looks. The best way for you to um, see that and see if you need to fix something is to step back and look at it from a distance because that can really make a difference. Um, when you sit very close to your painting for so long, you start to lose track of what it really looks like, what would look good, what would look bad. So now I'm going back over with um, really mostly yellow highlights. It's kind of hard to see from this angle um, from my palette, but um, you can see that I'm using a little bit of yellow. There on the eye, I am using pure white, so we really want the eye to pop, um, the reflection of the eye. Now something else to remember in your shadow areas, and if you go back and watch my lemon painting that I posted years ago, um, you'll see in the shadow areas you want to add blues, purples, and in the areas where you want um, the idea of sunlight or some kind of light source shining, you want to have a yellow or uh, more warm colors as we would call it, um, instead of just using pure black and pure white. Um, this time I just freehanded the tree branch. You can see it, I'm using a dark brown there. Going back with more of a lime green to make some buds and highlighting them with yellow. And now I'm going to work on the actual uh, Japanese magnolia flower. Um, it, this is, gives you a good view of the mess that I make. I have paint all over my hands, uh, piles of paper towels and everything else. Now, I don't always clean off my brush like I should, and this goes back to the point I'm trying to make. Um, don't be afraid to just mess around and try out things, because I'm definitely not necessarily a professional in following all those rules. Um, I kind of just do what works for me. Um, I guess that sometimes could hurt me because I probably ruin good paintbrushes, but um, I do clean them off. Remember, you clean them off with, with um, turpentine, um, paint thinner, same thing. Um, and you can see that once again, the tools and materials of doing a basic oil painting. See that in that video. So I started out with a base of a dark purple. Once again, I'm only using my primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. Um, and then I came back over with a lighter um, purple 
and now I'm highlighting areas of the flower. And one thing you'll notice is, um, you know, as I'm painting the details on the flower, I'll leave it for a while and then I'll come back and actually add another petal because I don't think it looks right. Um, so I am using pictures as references um, here, but sometimes you have to just take the liberty of being an artist and knowing what might look better and just kind of make it up a little bit, um, change it up a little bit. You don't always have to make it look exactly as you see it in nature. I'm adding a kind of a bluish purple um, shadow under the tree branch. Give it more depth. And a little bit of that lime bright color to highlight it. the legs of the cardinal. Highlights on that as well. Once again, it did not use black there. It's a deep brown color. Now I'm adding, going back and touching up some various areas. This is when I decide to add the extra petal because I feel like it would look better with one. So, and here's finished product. Product. It's kind of got the shininess from the gold, um, and there it is is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. Remember, don't be afraid to try out something new. You don't have to be an expert. Be sure to check back to my channel weekly for more random tutorial videos. If you would like to buy a print of this painting, please go to my Etsy site. Link is below the video. Thanks again for watching.